Hey guys, it's Cynthia, AKA Sinful. And today I'm going to be talking to you about how the narcissist drives you to the point of insanity. When you're involved with a narcissist, whether it's a family member or a romantic relationship, you're gonna find yourself losing your grip on reality. And this is by no accident. The narcissist purposely puts you into a constant state of anxiety, a constant state of confusion, because this creates the perfect environment for psychological manipulation. It makes it easier to control you. Um, but how does a narcissist do this? Let's talk about it. Gaslighting. If you've never heard this term before, gaslighting is a form of psychological manipulation that causes you to question your own sanity. Um, this allows the narcissist to avoid taking accountability for things that they do wrong. Instead of taking accountability, they're gonna twist stories, they're gonna put words in your mouth, they're going to make you seem crazy, they're going to confuse you about how things happen and why things happen and when things happen. They're gonna have you questioning your own memories. They will cause you to distrust yourself. They will cause you to rely on them for the truth because you no longer know how to trust yourself in your own gut anymore. And this allows them to continue to emotionally abuse you, continue to do whatever they want. And meanwhile, they're normalizing all of it. One of the most common types of gaslighting is called blame shifting. And many of you probably have experienced this before. This is when you try to talk to the narcissist about how you feel, maybe about something that they did wrong, something that you caught them doing. And instead of admitting to it or having a healthy conversation about it, they immediately flip the script. They start blaming you for something that they did wrong. They turn the tables. So they get very angry and adamant about the fact that they did nothing wrong. All of a sudden, it's about something that you did. Maybe it was something that you did a long time ago. Well, what about the time you did this? Or I only did this because you did this. Suddenly, everything is about something that you did when in the first place, you were calling them out about something that they did. They start talking in circles, what we like to call word salad. And you, after a while, you have no idea what you're even talking about anymore. And this is on purpose. The narcissist purposely confuses you and exhausts you to the point where you just give up and give in and often end up apologizing just to de-escalate the situation. I remember when I was in that situation um, with the narcissist that I dealt with, after every argument, I remember being so confused and so exhausted, but at the same time, I would just be glad that it was over. In the back of my head, I knew that it didn't make sense, but I honestly didn't care because I just didn't want to do it anymore. I didn't want to talk about it anymore. I didn't want to be yelled at. I didn't want to hear the word salad. I just wanted it to be over. And guys, this is exactly what the narcissist wants. They want to get you to the point where they exhaust you so that they don't have to take accountability for it so that they can blame you. And all of a sudden you feel guilty and you think it's your fault. The more often that they gaslight you and blame shift and do all of these things to you to confuse you and manipulate you, the more easily you shut down. You become so used to the cycle that every day you do everything that you can to prevent it from happening. You don't want them to go into these rage episodes. So you find yourself walking on eggshells, not talking about your feelings. And so you're holding all of this in because every time you try to bring something up, they make you feel like you're doing something wrong. And so you're internalizing all of these things, which makes you feel, I know at least I felt very mentally unstable. I felt like everything was my fault. I felt guilty. I felt like I was going crazy. And through all of this, even though they're making you feel like everything is your fault, you still have this little inner voice that's telling you that something isn't right. And so then it becomes this internal conflict in your brain constantly. You're trying to make sense of what they're doing, even though it doesn't make sense and it doesn't add up, but it's all you can accept because it's what they're telling you and you're caught in this cycle with them. But at the same time, you have this inner voice saying, no, that's not right. So it's a constant battle of trying to make sense of the two. And so you are constantly confused, constantly anxious, just trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Another way that the narcissist might gaslight you is by taking things around the house and putting them in a different place and acting like you did it to make you feel crazy. I remember when I was in the situation, there was a very specific incident that comes to mind. So the narcissist that I dealt with randomly started accusing me of taking his cell phone. He said he couldn't find it. I know you took it. I know you just want to go through my phone. I know you have it. I literally hadn't seen his phone and I didn't have it. Okay, so this went on and on. He's yelling at me, accusing me, going on and on, right? 
And then all of a sudden he opens my bathroom drawer and he's like, oh, here it is. He takes the cell phone out and he's like, why would you put it in the drawer? I didn't, I had nothing to do with that. But he was so angry and so adamant about it that it just really makes you be like, you know, what the hell? And so they do things like that. They might even take the car keys or just anything around the house and put them in a different place to make you literally feel mentally unstable. It's just another way to try to manipulate you and put you in this state of anxiety. Another way that the narcissist drives you to insanity is by projecting. And when I say projecting, I'm talking about the way that a narcissist does something wrong and instead of taking accountability for it and instead of feeling remorse like a normal person does, they project these things onto you and they accuse you of the very things that they are doing. This is a way for them to deflect from the fact that they are the one who's actually doing it. So they will literally make up events, make up stories and accuse you of these things and frame you to take the spotlight off of the fact that they're the one doing it. And they accuse you so hardcore that you find yourself defending it. You find yourself going all out to try to make them believe that you didn't do it, even though you know damn well that you didn't do it. And because you're defending yourself, to them, they start saying, oh, well, why are you defending yourself? You, now you look guilty and they run with it. This is what they're doing in order to deflect from the fact that they're the one who's actually doing it. If you listen closely to what a narcissist is accusing you of, it's usually a confession for what they're actually doing. So guys, I'm the most loyal person in the world. And when I was in that situation with a narcissist, I was accused so many times of lying and of cheating and of all these horrible things because those were the things that he was doing to me. And instead of allowing himself to feel that remorse and take accountability for it, he'd blame me for those things instead and would frame me for things that I wasn't doing. And he would go so far as to threaten to leave because I was doing these things. And this was just to instill fear in me. And so then when I finally had proof that he was actually doing these things and he would downplay it and say, oh, you're only saying that I'm doing it because you were the one who was doing it first, even though I never was. It is a twisted, twisted game that they play and they do it all to deflect from what they're doing and to make you feel like you're the one in the wrong. Simply put, being with a narcissist puts your brain into WTF mode 24 seven. You're constantly sitting there trying to figure out which version of them is real. You're trying to constantly prove yourself to them. You're constantly trying to figure out what's so wrong with you that they're acting like this. You're constantly trying to make sense of something that just absolutely makes zero sense. And it makes you feel very crazy and very mentally unstable. And you know what happens when you get into this state where you feel mentally unstable like this? It becomes hard for you to make decisions. And when it becomes hard for you to make decisions, it becomes harder for you to leave this situation, which is exactly what the narcissist wants. It makes it easier for them to keep you trapped in their web. Guys, this is just the very beginning of the video series that I'll be doing on all the different manipulation tactics that the narcissists use to control you, to manipulate you, and to keep you in their web. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe.